Hello, this is Inspired99. In this video, we will hear Dennis James' opinion on Bob Cicerillo's alleged misleading of Big Ramey. Namdao Big Ramey Elspie, an Egyptian bodybuilder, was last saw competing in the 2023 Arnold Classic earlier this month. Dennis James criticized athletes advocate Bob Cicerillo for disparaging Ramey with unjust analogies on a recent episode of The Menace podcast. Big Ramey, a former two-time Mr. Olympia, earned a name for himself as a men's open competitor by virtue of his sheer size and muscular bulk. He dominated the field at the Mr. Olympia competition to earn his first Sando trophy, and he emerged as a force in 2020. At the 2021 Mr. Olympia competition, he successfully defended his title, and last season, he went into the competition as the favorite to add a third Sando to his collection. The new champion Hattie Chupin dethroned Ramey at the 2022 Mr. Olympia three months ago because Ramey didn't give it his all. Ramey entered the 2023 Arnold Classic in an effort to atone for his fifth-place showing. Ramey's coach Chad Nichols discussed his underwhelming Olympic performance last month. He acknowledged that the contest went horribly wrong and dubbed the preparation a fiasco. Ramey's intestinal troubles and high level of stress before going on stage, he said, were probably factors in his coming off. Despite the fact that many people were quick to write Ramey off, renowned fitness expert Milo Sarsev was certain he could make a return at the Arnold Classic. He acknowledged the threat the mass monster represented to rivals and decided it would be a good idea for him to return to battle. Ramey was supported by bodybuilding legend Jay Cutler as one of the favorites to win in Ohio. He stated his wish to see the defeated champion return the crown, a goal he successfully attained in 2009 after winning another Olympia. Samson Dada ultimately won the highest honor. Ramey placed fourth, behind winner Nick Walker and runner-up Andrew Jacked, with an upgraded package. The results sparked debate about the judging, with some claiming Ramey was denied a fair chance to be compared. Bob Cicerillo criticized Ramey's performance and denied the possibility of a return. He urged Ramey to bring a completely new version of his body and warned that given the problems with it right now, he would not be able to win back his title. Afterwards, he said there were no Big Ramey or Walker conspiracies in the IFBB Pro League. Big Ramey's close buddy and trainer Dennis James criticized Bob Cicerillo in a recent edition of the Menace podcast for making an unfair comparison between a lat spread of Ramey from two distinct years. Dennis questioned Cicerillo about the inaccurate comparison after hearing Bob's perspective. James, you put two pictures up where you want to compare a 2013 lat spread with the Arnold Classic one where he's clearly putting his arms back slowly starting to get into the lat spread. Bob, yeah, that was the editor's fault not mine. I had two different pictures. I didn't look it over. It was two lousy easy pictures. James, this looks very misleading for people. Bob, go look at a picture of Big Ramey doing a lat spread or any pose for that matter in his first year in the league. Then you compare it to the last show. The guy has two different physiques and not for the better. Bob identified a number of areas where he thinks Ramey fell short and needs to improve. If you just compare Ramey's physique on his own, he's bigger, not as shapely as he was. His thighs are even bigger, especially his inner thighs. His legs are like tree trunks, said Cicerillo. He's missing half his lower back, arms are shrinking down, midsection is much bigger. It's not even debatable that he's not the same bodybuilder. The question is why and can he get it back? I think it's an uphill battle for him. James responded, Do we all know that his lower back is atrophied? Yes, but something was going on when he won the Olympia too, and nobody complained. I don't get it. James claimed that Ramey wasn't given a fair chance by the judges to be compared to the other competitors at the 2023 Arnold Classic. Bob, you got big Ramey beating Samson. James, I never said that but here's what I'm saying. I didn't get a chance to, they never put them next to each other and battle it out. Ramey was much better than he was at the Olympia. Also, what I'm saying is he should have been compared a little more. That's just my opinion and there's a lot of others that have the same opinion. Bob, they can't see. They don't have an eye for bodybuilding. All it would have done is highlighted that this is not the best Ramey we have seen. James, at least do that, give him the chance to highlight. I'm not complaining about the result. He was impressive to me, not so much on the screen because looking in the screen and what the people saw on pay-per-view wasn't as impressive as what it was looking from front of the stage or from high-quality pictures and videos. He was in shape, much improved but still put on the outside. Big Ramey retaliated against the naysayers who urged him to stop competing last week. He was very clear that he has no immediate plans to slow down and will continue to be active in the months to come. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all of our latest content.
Your support means everything to us, and we couldn't do this without you. So once again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.